All right, so you guys are gonna have to give me a break. <laughs> it's a little, I just took my laptop out and it's, everything is pretty much fogging up now. So this is gonna be a long video, but I'm gonna attempt to show you uh, the stock parts for this Lustron Power Seeker 80 EQ. Uh, so this is the stock uh, diagonal that I'm gonna be using um, to hopefully uh, get some video of what Jupiter looks like through this um, diagonal and you know, with the next image 5 camera um, and then this here is the stock 20 millimeter eyepiece which you can't really see too well because of focus and it's dark out but hopefully you guys can see that this is the stock uh, 20 millimeter eyepiece that uh, comes with your telescope if you buy the 80 EQ and this here is the 80 EQ with my 99% GSO uh, diagonal with my 20 millimeter eyepiece. Um, I'm going to be using this to, to find Jupiter. Um, and then uh, I will attempt to uh, to show you. <laughs> my uh, my whole laptop screen is all fogged up from taking it out of a cold room. That's one of the things that I didn't want with a uh, with a uh, uh, um, a reflect the reflector telescope because this this is bad right here <laughs> that that wetness on my screen whew, that is bad that is bad I'm gonna have to go wipe it down before I can turn it on anyways I will be back right after I get everything hooked up Jupiter is straight over there where you guys can't see but it's straight up there but anyways I'll be back in just a few got all my stuff out here ready to go after I clean my screen off real quick. Okay, so as fast as I can possibly do this, <laughs> that white dot right there that you're seeing is what Jupiter looks like through the phone over the uh, stock diagonal for the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ and uh, the 20 millimeter eyepiece that comes with the, the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ. Now, I'm gonna try to do some video here uh, with the next image 5 and see how it looks with the diagonal with the stock diagonal um, so we'll see how that looks but that white dot is what it looks like and I'll try to do a video another time um, trying to get it back centered here best as I can but yeah that white dot I mean that's that's as best as focus as I can I can get I can try to zoom in with my phone but it's probably just gonna blur until like a white <laughs> like a white dot like I thought it was gonna do yeah, but that right there is what Jupiter looks like with the stock 20mm uh, eyepiece and the stock diagonal. And that is zoomed in with my phone, um, with the Nexus 6 phone. Now I'm going to hook up the, uh, the Celestron Next Image 5 camera and uh, attempt to stick it down into the diagonal and try to hook this all up. I got a short amount of time because Jupiter's getting ready to, to set towards the horizon. So I'll be back in just a few. Real quick, I just wanted to show that this was the uh, the stock diagonal with the 20 millimeter eyepiece that was on. Um, <laughs> I forgot to do that uh, when I, because my, I couldn't do that because my phone was actually on the uh, the eyepiece um, with this uh, with this phone mount that I use here. This is a phone mount that I use for going over the eyepiece, and that right there is the stock diagonal for the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ. It's completely garbage. Uh, and then that is the 20 millimeter eyepiece right there. And the next image 5 web camera is right there. I'm getting ready to hook it up, but this is the next image 5 web camera. And I got, looks like I got a, whoop. See, I'm getting all bit up by mosquitoes for you guys out here. My hands are like chewed up, man. I mean, look at my hands. It looks like I have a disease. My hands are like all chewed up, man, from mosquitoes out here. And these things itch bad, man. Good thing I'm not pregnant, huh? Alright, so this is the next image 5 there on the stock diagonal, the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ. And right there on the screen, which is not going to show up too well, but you guys can see in the videos, um, that is Jupiter. Um, let's see if I can turn out the flash real quick. Let's see if I can turn it off. There we go. So that there is Jupiter, 
and this is using the iCap software, which probably isn't going to show up too well on my phone. But um, apparently, it will. Uh, if you get the stock, if you use the stock diagonal, you'll at least be able to see Jupiter. Some of the of the uh, the bands on it with the stock diagonal with the next image five. Surprisingly, I was pretty surprised. I had a little bit of a little bit of a hassle um, trying to uh, find Jupiter with the stock um, with the stock eyepiece <laughs> in the diagonal. But uh, yeah, I would say it actually it, it's it's pretty good for. Um, for the stock diagonal. It's not going to look so good when you look into the eyepiece though. Um, even with the 10 millimeter eyepiece that I have it doesn't look so well. But uh, hopefully this will give you guys a ideal of what you might see. So that's the iCap software. Um, I don't know if I can show this is just, I don't know how well, I can, how well you all can see that but I'm using um, I'm using the gain at 21 and the exposure is at one one and one third of a second.
All right, so um, hmm. it appears that the stock diagonal works pretty good for um, for the next image five. It, it, it's it still need to work on the uh, the exposure and the gain a little bit on the uh, the next image five or or the iCap software, but it's actually doable to actually uh, view uh, Jupiter with uh, with the next image five with the stock diagonal for the slash run power seeker 80 eq surprisingly so again a quick view before i call it a night this here is the next image five which isn't going to show up on camera and then there's the stock diagonal and that's about the about how far and i have it focused um for uh, jupiter tonight it's normally about where i have it at uh for icap is about about that wide which <laughs> if you look at my finger it's probably about yeah maybe about two inches fo out focused but uh yeah so that's that's uh i guess it does work pretty good with the uh the stock diagonal and here's the stock diagonal of course i don't <laughs> i don't really use the stock diagonal but uh here's my messy pile and here is the uh the Celestron uh, 20 millimeter eyepiece. This is actually a cheap, a cheap lens, but uh, it'll give you a small, a really small view of Jupiter, as you guys probably saw there in the video. But uh, this here is the iCap software. Jupiter is already off course, so I guess I will be calling it a night. Now you guys have clear skies and. Happy stargazing.